Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. We will have to interrupt the show now for some breaking news. We've been receiving reports since we came on air, and I think we can now confirm it. This may be a world first that Tom Cruise and Katie Holmes had a baby girl just 10 days ago. <laughs> What a scoop! How did we find that? Now, I follow the news closely. I did not know she was even pregnant. But look, obviously, uh, we should pass on our congratulations to the happy parents. Yeah. Uh, it's a great moment for Tom. It's Needs a big increase in his childcare responsibilities. Obviously, now got to look after both Katie and the baby. So it's going to be very difficult for him. It's going to be hard. Apparently, they've uh, decided to name the child Suri, mm. uh, which is a Hebrew word meaning future Scientologist. Yes. <laughs> The Scientologists have all these weird beliefs, don't they? Like, they believe they that an alien was involved in bringing humans to the planet Earth, and they have this thing about silent birth, too. There's a rule that says you're not allowed to uh, make any loud screaming or emotional outbursts, unless, of course, it's on the Oprah Winfrey show, in which case, <laughs> absolutely fine. <clears throat> Look, sadly, we're not all as lucky as young Suri. Ooh. We're not all just born into Scientology. Normally, if you want to join, you have to take one of those free personality tests. Yeah, that's right. You often see them in the street, and they mm. have this strange machine which is called an e -mail. It sounds yeah. very, it's technical and weird, it sounds. Mm. And we thought there might actually just be a better way of recruiting people to Scientology. <laughs> Would you like to do a free gullibility test today, sir? We're just conducting a gullibility test. Right. Um, and you're doing very well already, <laughs> yeah. so well done. Um, I'm just going to read you a few statements. You don't have to actually believe them, but if you could believe them, just give us a yes. Okay. okay. Scientology lets you attain several different states of existence in just one lifetime. No. Could? You could believe that? I could believe yep. that. Okay, good. Could you believe that it's a coincidence that a famous science fiction writer also invented a completely true religion involving aliens and spacecraft? That's a tough one. I you don't, you don't have to believe it now. Do you, do you think oh, you're cool. Of believing it? Oh, look, I could believe anything. Yeah, okay. give me a couple of drinks. Well, what are you what looking for? Excellent. <laughs> uh, could you believe right now, dead people's souls are flying around and clinging to you, and that's what's causing everything that goes wrong in your life? <laughs> totally. Not everything, but yeah, I do believe. It. Some of the. Okay, good. Oh uh, no, that would be my girlfriend. Did it 75 million years ago the Earth was? Don't believe that. No. Could you believe that? No. No, with intensive therapy, some courses, oh, maybe a few donations. Maybe, I suppose, Possibly. if I had enough invested in it, okay. yeah, maybe. All right, well, you will have enough invested in it, don't worry. <laughs> 75 million years ago, Xenu froze hundreds of billions of people and dropped them into volcanoes on Earth before blowing them up with hydrogen bombs. Jeez, that's a bit harsh, but yeah, I can do that. Hydrogen bombs. Sure. Could you believe that Tom Cruise is a completely normal human being? No. Right, okay. Well, you've, you've scored very highly on everything else, but even that, it's a bit much. just can't believe it. There's no doubt that he's completely sane. Are you being serious? No. <laughs> if you believe that, you're actually too gullible for the government. <laughs> so, you've done well. To make this fully scientific, we do need to check your reading on the BS meter. We're testing whether you're true. <laughs> Gullible or James Packer. Now, the James Packer is not a reference to Scientology, that's just a reference to one tell, actually. How does it feel to you? Does it, it's okay. Does it feel scientific? Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. scientific enough? Yes. Would you like to take a test? No, that's fine. No, thanks. it's free. <laughs> no, no, I'm the, I'm the official from the church, so. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. All right, right, all right. Well, uh, if we get any people who pass, we'll send them in, eh? There you go. Okay. <laughs> Last week, Rolf.